So you want some enchiladas, but you have no enchilada place near you, so you have to settle for burritos. Hey guys, I'm Matas by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how I made this auto tiling uh, setup in uh, here in Godot. And what I want to do is, first of all, I want to uh, I want to start a new 2D scene here in Godot. As you can see, we have a brand new scene. I'm going to go ahead and click 2D scene right there. Boom, we have a node 2D. Now, the first thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and right-click this and add a child node. The child node is going to be a tile map layer. I'm going to hit create on that. And then now we have uh, a couple new things that have popped up here. So right here on the right, we're going to go to this place where it says empty and hit new tile set. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and name this uh, name this uh, this tile map layer um, a, a great name for our tile set, which is going to be James, of course. Up oh, James, uh, that works as well. Okay, perfect. Um, after we do that, I'm going to go ahead and go, go down here to the uh, to the uh, other side, uh, back to the right, and you can see we have a bunch of things down here. We'll we'll be using a couple of these uh, one of these things later on after we add a few more things, but you don't really want to mess with any of this stuff. So what, what for the next thing we're going to do? I'm going to go ahead and grab our actual tile set that I have. Um, I'm going to drag that over here into our file uh, browser. Now, um, after we do that, I'm going to go ahead and open this up a little bit. And uh, if you zoom in here, you can see we have these little orange uh, squares, which is really nice. And these are these are basically the tiles that we have, but we haven't like set our actual tile map so far. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and go to this uh, this over here to the right to the tile set and click that. Open it up. It drops down a whole big uh, a new dialogue. And um. Now we're gonna go ahead and change the tile size. If if your tiles are 16 by 16, you can leave it exactly like this. But my tiles are actually 32 by 32, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that real quick and just put that to 32 by 32. And now the the little orange cubes that we have here have gotten a little bit bigger. So there we go. Now um, after that, you can see we have a couple more things that's opened up here. So terrain sets, navigation layers, all this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and go to terrain sets and hit add element. Now I'm gonna go ahead and once again. Um, make sure this match says match corners and sides um, and then with the terrains button I'm gonna go ahead and hit add element now you can see when we have uh, we have oops, let me open this up a little bit we have a brand new thing that says name and color so I'm gonna go ahead and name this uh, dirt because that's what the, our tiles are going to be there are dirt tiles and then I'm going to change the color to something that's very super bright and visible that I can tell where I'm what buttons I'm clicking, what I'm doing. I'm going to go, ahead and go for like a really bright yellow like that. You know, we could go solid white, which I might do. Let's just do that. Um, and then now we're all set and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to the tile set button down here and then click and drag our actual tiles into this little box. And then boom, now our actual tiles are inside of Godot. It's going to ask you this Atlas texture was modified. Would you like to automatically create tiles in the Atlas? Now you can hit yes or no here, but what we're going to do is hit yes. And I'm going to go ahead and, and drop on down here. And you can see now this is automatically broken all of our tiles into uh, actual tiles instead of us having to do it manually, which is very nice. So. Um, if we go ahead and take a look at these, now the texture re uh, region down here says 32 by 32 because my tiles are once again 32 by 32. If your tiles are 16 by 16, make sure these say 16 by 16, of course. But um, these are all good. So now we can go ahead and click these and they don't really do much right now. But if we go over to the paint tab right here, you can hit uh, select the property editor and then go right on down to terrains. And then you see where it says right here, no terrains. You can open that up and hit terrain set zero. Now, boom. Now, once that's done, you can see that we can go ahead and click and drag over all of all, all of these tiles, all the ones that we want to be included inside of the dirt. And then now we should be good to go when we have the ability to select dirt. So now if I zoom in, I have this little tiny box. And now what the what the idea is, is that you want to select every piece. And this is a little complicated. So I uh, tried to follow along here, but what you want to do is select every piece that you want to connect to another piece. So the idea is, here, let me break this down. So if you see our if you see our textures, let me open this up a little bit. If you see, if you look at our textures, what we have here is on the left hand side we have this this dirt that goes straight down, and there's grass behind it, of course. But you have this dirt that goes straight down. So this first tile, just take a look at this first tile, right? This first tile is literally just dirt that has an open side on the bottom. This one is uh, dirt that's open on the top and the bottom and this one's open only on the top now this one's just a dot of course and then this one is the same thing but side to side now if you look at the tile like this all the way in the bottom left right here you can see that this is a corner piece and the corner is touching the um it's touching the top is the dirt is touching the top and the dirt is touching the right hand side and the same thing for all of these now this one has you know dirt on like in a, in a plus formation and it just goes on and on the same way so all of these tiles are what 
you'll need to create paths for every corner, every edge, every you know circle, every piece of anything you might need. Um, and it's done in a, in a in a super specific way. So it's a very very complex. And I'll leave this up on screen so you can go ahead and like copy this 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 format, this template, whatever you want to call this. But uh, if you break these all down, they're very very uh, they're very minimalized. So there's not you don't need any blocks other than these is what I'm saying. So all of these are the only blocks you'll ever have to draw and you can paint whatever you want, which is very, very nice. So like I said, if you, one more example, if we take a look at this, you see this little block right here where the uh, yellow boundaries are is the edge of the block, of course. So now this is on all of these sides. We're going to go ahead and select all of these pieces, click and drag all these pieces, all the dirt, but not the grass. So in essence, what we want to do with all of these is we want to select all of the dirt. So just click and drag, but none of the grass. So there you go. So anything you want to connect is what you're going to select. So like I said, so if I'm doing a corner, let me just let me just explain one more time, just so we're making sure. If you want to do a corner, you would select all of this because you want the dirt to connect to this area. But with this block, I want the dirt to connect on the left hit side, the right side, and the bottom. With this one, I want the dirt to connect on the left side and the bottom. So we go ahead and fill all that in. With this, the top, the bottom, and the left. And then so on and so on. You get the idea here. So I'm going to select all these pieces. And then for the middle one, I want to connect to the top, the left, the right, and the bottom. Now, if that, what this basically means is if there's a block of dirt above this little this little cross piece, it's going to put a, a, a block up there. But if the block that's above this little cross piece has dirt on the left and right-hand sides, it'll place this block and so on and so forth. So I'll explain more once we have it all done, but for all of these, I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of the dirt. Like I said, just select every dirt piece. Hopefully I explain that um, the, uh, as, as, as simply as possible. I think it's it's a very, very confusing thing if you're not too um, familiar with auto tiling, but hopefully I, I did a good job explaining that. Um, again, left click to select all these pieces, and then if you make a mistake and you go up here too far, just right click to get rid of that. There you go, a little right click action. We'll get rid of that right there for you. All right, so I'm going to select all of these. And then, of course, the solid grass piece um, right there in the center almost. Um, we're not going to select any of that because that's going to be all grass. That's just for later on in case we want to do a layer below the dirt, which is what we're going to do as well. So I can show you how layers work as well. So there you go. So that's all of the dirt selected. So now we are literally done. We're, we're completely done. So now if we go to um, tile map and then head to the terrain section, you can see that there's actually nothing here. And the reason for that is uh, because there's a very strange thing in Godot where you actually have to refresh the tile uh, map layer. So just go up here to the top and then uh, click node 2D and then go straight back to your tile map. And then when we go to terrains, now it'll be there and there'll actually be something that's popular there. So now we go ahead and select dirt. And then you can see if we can just go ahead, we can just paint all these pieces, which is very cool. So now we can just paint anything we want, which is great. So we can make little dirt pass, we make one that goes down here. We can make it snake across this way, come down. And then again, like I said, if we have all these pieces connected, then um, everything should work perfectly fine. We can make little pieces down here. All this stuff looks great. Fill that in, fill that in. And now let's say you, like I said, this is that's all the auto tiling. But just because I want to explain a little bit more, we can go ahead and add another layer here. So let's go ahead and um, right click this. And there's other ways to do this, but I'm going to uh, say that maybe you have a, an auto tile for the grass as well. Um, so let's go ahead and just make a, a, just a simple grass. I'm not going to redo another whole auto tile, but just to show you a, a quick way to add a different layer, let's go ahead and um, right click and duplicate this uh, auto tiling setup that we have right here. So we're going to go ahead and right click duplicate that. And I'm going to recall this. I'm going to name this something else. We'll call this a grass. Um, and then we're going to go to our actual tiles <coughs> tile set. And you see, we have this, this little green piece right here, right? So we need, what we need to do is we need to actually grab that and then we just need to paint with it. So if we go here to the tile map and then go to tiles, you can select that little grass piece right there and we can just go ahead and paint with it. Now you can paint over all, over all top of the dirt here. And maybe you don't want to paint over it. You want the grass to be underneath the dirt. So what we can do instead is, um, first of all, we can also go ahead and grab this uh, box tool and then just undo all that real quick and then just drag a box. And then it'll just cover everything up. But now we don't want it to be above the dirt. We want it to be below it. So let's go ahead and grab this grass and then drag it above the dirt. Now, I know it doesn't really make sense because it looks like it's above it, but it's just um, that's the way that it works. So um, now once we click the node 2D, now you can see that we have the dirt on top of the grass. Um, and again, once again, if you do have auto tines for the grass, which I only have a singular block, so I just painted it in. But if you do have auto tines for the grass, if you have multiple types of grass for whatever reason, then you would go ahead and do the same thing. Um, you would do for the dirt, but you do it for the grass. So.
hopefully that all made sense hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you want to see more godot tutorials let me know down in the comment section below i will see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye